Greetings, Captains. The November update is ready to warm you up on these increasingly cold autumn days. You can look forward to Japanese light cruisers in early access, graphics improvements, the battle pass, a new season of clan battles and fresh brawls. I'm Jules and this is the update 11.10 review. Captains, the world of warships fleet has just grown bigger. It's time to welcome the second branch of Japanese cruisers as they arrive in early access. These newcomers from the land of the rising sun prefer medium to long-range skirmishes. This is mainly because of their good firing ranges and numerous guns. But it's worth noting that the new branch is made up of light cruisers with gun calibers of only up to 155 millimeters. The battle profile of these new ships is complemented by torpedoes, capable of inflicting massive damage and traveling long distances. Starting from Tier 7, the newcomer's torpedoes have post-launch turning mechanics like those previously introduced with the new British battleships. With such armament and excellent concealment, Japanese cruisers can suddenly attack opponents or swiftly vanish in the face of any looming threats. You can obtain most of the new cruisers for Japanese tokens. Japanese tokens are a temporary resource that you can obtain by completing themed combat mission groups. The final reward is Tier 7 Cruiser Amano. As you might expect, you can also spend Japanese tokens on sequential bundles in the armory. The bundles hold Tier 5, 6, and 8 cruisers. Bonus packages for Amano and Shimanto, Dawn Harmony permanent camouflages, and other useful rewards. Once you've obtained all the sequential bundles for tokens, you'll be able to purchase Tier 10 Cruiser Yodo for doubloons. As for Tier 9 Takahashi, make sure to look for her in random bundles that are also available for doubloons. Update 0.11.10 introduces the first battle pass in the game. Take advantage of it to obtain loads of valuable and useful rewards. The Battle Pass is a special progress bar that's split into levels. Earning Battle Pass points will fill the bar and progress you through the levels. You can earn the necessary points by completing daily and weekly combat missions. Completing Battle Pass levels will bring you free and elite commander XP, credits, coal, steel, research points and extra port slots. The Battle Pass will remain as a permanent feature and event that will reset and start afresh with the release of each new update. Every new update will bring a new battle pass and progress bar, as well as new rewards. You can purchase the Adremium Pass to earn even more rewards for each level. Captains who reach the final level of the Adremium Pass in Update 0.11.10 can look forward to grabbing Japanese Tier 7 Premium Cruiser Takachi as the final reward. You'll find more information about the battle pass in a dedicated article on our website. Another season of clan battles and four brawl rounds await our most competitive captains in the current update. Battles will be fought in a 7 versus 7 format with Tier 10 ships. Aircraft carriers and submarines are excluded this time. And here are the other restrictions. Only up to two battleships per team, up to three Kleber or Marceau destroyers in total, and up to three mercenaries per team. As we mentioned, Update 0.11.10 features four brawl rounds. The first one pits Tier 5 ships against one another in a 4 versus 4 format. For the second round, the ship tier remains unchanged, but the number of players per team increases to 5. Next, only one-on-one -on -one duels. Tier 10 ships in the third round and Tier 7 ships in the fourth. Wait into the brawl, you won't be disappointed. Lastly, let's chat about the most important thing. What's that, you wonder? Beauty, of course. We've made more improvements to the aesthetics of our game. North, Strait, Mountain Range, Estuary, and Northern Lights now all boast HD textures. And the latter map now has a very special ambiance to it, given how realistic the new Aurora Borealis effects looks on it. All updated maps are being given a surf effect as well. The effect of ships crashing through the waves will look even more realistic, and another effect will apply a glossy wet appearance to ship holes in the areas that come into contact with the sea. Apart from that, dynamic reflections on ships are also being introduced into the game. 
we've given you the lowdown on the most important features of Update 0.11.10. You can find more detailed information about new game features and improvements in a dedicated article on our website. I'm Jules, and I hope you get to enjoy a few more warm days during this autumn. And of course, I wish you all the best, Captains.